to rock the board. We have four awesome contestants from four great schools. Let's go ahead and meet them now. Hi, I'm Becky Walensky and I teach at the high school and I am so excited to rock the board because I'm super creative and super organized, so I'm definitely gonna win. <laughs> Hello, I'm Stacy Schwartz. I am a fourth grade teacher this year at Esterbrook Elementary School, and I am building a, a bulletin board that's gonna be three-dimensional here at Esterbrook Elementary School. Hi, um, my name's Kira Leach. I teach at Insulated Community Middle School. I am the resource room teacher, so I have sixth, seventh, and eighth grade special ed kiddos. Um, I'm super pumped to do Rock the Board because I'm a very creative person. I love um, visual representations of things, so I'm super pumped to put one in the hallway. Hi, my name is Heidi Shelton, and I'm a teacher here at Perry Early Learning Center, and I'm super excited to be part of the Rock the Board contest, and um, I wanted to be a part of the contest because I feel like here at Perry, um, we are super creative, we love bright colors, we like things to cheer the kids up, and I'm hoping to brighten the day of a staff member or a student. And just to switch things up a little bit, make it a little bit harder for our contestants, we gave each of them a mystery box with an item that they have to use in their board. For me, a present. Oh my gosh, I wonder what it is. Oh my gosh, it's finally here. It's the mystery box. I can't wait to see what's inside. Uh-oh. Looks like it's here. So I have my item here, my mystery item, and I was given clothespins. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do, but I think I'm gonna take them apart and use them for the pieces that they are. I won't use them exactly the way they are meant to be used, but uh, I will disassemble them and use them to be parts of flowers, maybe petals or um, the leaves or or stems on the flowers. Um, but uh, I am also gonna try using every portion of the container that, uh, that the gift came in to use as part of the assemblage of, of the display. Okay. Um, so I'm super excited. I opened my mystery box and here is my mystery item. They're little cupcake holders and uh, I already know what I'm gonna use them for, so. Can't wait for you guys to see. So I got some bendy straws. Um, they're neon colors. So this is gonna be like the 90s. And I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll do like some kind of Tron theme or like some flowers or fireworks. I don't know, we'll have to see. I got natural jupe cord twine maybe? I have no idea how I'm going to use this. So you're probably wondering how judging is happening. Well, with COVID-19 restrictions, unfortunately our judges could not come into the buildings. So all taped entries are being sent to our judges for them to look over, evaluate, and create their decisions. Hi, we're here today at Ypsilanti Community High School with Rebecca Walensky, and she's here to explain her board to us. Rebecca, go ahead and tell us your vision behind your board. So I got the mystery item, which was um, neon colored straws. And I was like, well, what am I gonna do with these um, to make a welcome back board? And um, I thought about neon and I was like, oh, the eighties, of course. So I've integrated all different parts of the eighties and welcome back. So instead of back to the future, it's back to the building. Um, we have a mixtape that is our socially distanced mix. And then there's information about social distancing, there's a Rubik's cube, and it says together we can solve the COVID cube, and it has different things we have to do, so wear a mask, vaccinate, and wash our hands, and then there's more information about those things. Um, there's a neon sign that says YCHS, and that's all made out of neon straws. Um, there's a poster that says Stronger Together, which is our district theme, and it says at the bottom, in person, remote, and online. So even though we're all in different places, we're all in it together. And lastly, we have our uh, arcade, which is super 80s, but instead of Pac-Man, it's Pack a Mask, and you can see Pac-Man and 
our ghost Inky um, has a mask on on the side. And so, you know, making sure we're wearing our mask properly is super important um, over our mouth and our nose. So I was really trying to make sure that we were feeling encouraged and in a fun way, tell us more about our school safety things that we need to do when we're back in person. Awesome. You did such great work by using the three eyes of being innovative and formative and inspirational. This is definitely a huge inspiration to all of us to make sure that we're staying vaccinated, that we're getting vaccinated, wearing our masks. And it's just a great way to welcome our students back to, to come back face to face. I have a lot here to think about because there's a lot of good competition. So we're going to have to wait to see to Wednesday who's going to win it. Thank you so much, Ms. Wilinski. You did a great job. Thank you. It's been really fun creating the board. Hi, welcome to Rock the Board. And we're here at Estbrook Elementary with our second contestant, Stacy Schwartz, here to explain her board. Hello. So my board is all about recycling. And for this board, I wanted to find all the things that we, we can reuse, reduce, and recycle and reduce our footprint and use it again to create this bulletin board. Now this board is actually a dry erase board and I decided to go to one of my favorite places, Costco, and get their large sheets of Costco cardboard. I have been told that I am the cardboard queen and I wanted to put a background of all cardboard and then cover it with a little bit of paper, but the rest of the stuff that you see here is all made out of recycled materials. Nothing in here is store-bought. Um, I have in here, uh, what do I have? I have cups that the teachers have brought to me from their fast food, uh, their fast food trips from lunches that I've turned into the flowers. Um, I have some cake cups left over from coffee drinks that I've repurposed into flowers as well. I have a couple of cupcake wrappers that have been turned into the flowers, some coffee filters, and my surprise gift that I had turned into parts of the bulletin board are some clothespins. But I decided not only to use the surprise gift, but also to use the bow and the box and the tissue paper as well into the board. So as you see here, it's a lot of fun to look at and it's all three dimensional. One of my favorite things to do is just really make a display look fun and inviting. Awesome job here today, Stacy. And I see you've used our three elements of being innovative, informative, and inspirational. And I love how you've done our recycling and you know reuse items that you would not necessarily see on a bulletin board. So is there anything else you would like to add about your bulletin board today? Well, it's. For me, it's just about showing students of what they can do um, with repurposing things um, and just show them that you can think outside the box a little bit. How can we reduce our footprint on, uh, on uh, the world and find a, a new purpose for a lot of these things? And whether or not it's in art or whether or not it's in our classroom, showing them that, they, that anything can be possible. Hi, we're here with Rock the Board at Perry Elementary with our third contestant, Miss Heidi Shelton. Hi, Heidi. I'd love for you to explain your board to me here. Okay, so um, my board is a, um, a whole garden, and um, I started here with a tree, and I have little buds on the tree using my mystery item. Um, and when we come over here, I have a whole entire garden and our saying is at Perry is we're talking about planting seeds because this is where the students at YCS, many of them start their educational um, career. And here we plant the seeds and then we watch them grow as they travel to the next grades through um, YCS. So we have our garden here where we've planted our seed. Um, I've added, you know, a couple like uh, dragonflies and ladybugs and different things and we end up over here with a tree with our tire swing and a butterfly that greets each children each of the children as they walk in the door they come in this long hallway and we have this board that kind of cheers them up and prepares them for a day of success here at Perry School. 
Uh, Heidi, I just love how you've used your mystery items here, our baking sheets to create their sun and apples and our clouds. And you are definitely very informative with telling us about our students and planting the seeds of love. Very innovative, using different items and objects around and it, very inspirational. I'm loving how down here you've got our flowers of respect, justice, equality, peace, joy, kindness, all growing in your garden. Is there anything you would love to add about your board? Um, no, I think you've pretty much explained everything. Um, yeah, just um, planting our garden and um, it seems like you guys got the message with everything that I wanted you to, to notice in my garden, so thank you. It's Kara Leach here at uh, Ypsilanti Community Middle School and she is here to explain her board to us and how she used, how she was innovative, inspirational, and informative. Go ahead, Kira. Okay, so this is in front of our sixth grade den here um, at the middle school. So we have sixth, seventh, and eighth grade dens. What's really different and unique about this year is our sixth graders, of course, they've never been to the middle school before because they didn't get to come for that fifth grade um, preview like we normally get. And then we're already in May and they still haven't been here yet. So when they come, we want to give them the opportunity or option to make a choice. So today is a good day too. And then they have all these different choices. So they've not, they have not yet been physically with their friends face to face once yet this whole year. So we want to give them a chance to come up here, pick one and make that choice for that day or maybe even make that choice for that hour. So it gives them the chance to come out of their classroom, take a break, make a choice. So that's our sixth grade choice board. Here, this is an awesome job. I love all the different colors and how informative you made it. But can you tell me, what was your mystery item that you had to incorporate? Yes, my mystery item was the twine. So I used it as a way to just separate our different rows and kind of just section off that this is the choice board. Um, so, and then I also included it on our little sunshine one as little rays of sunshine. Man, this is gonna be really difficult for these judges. These contestants worked really hard. They're gonna have a lot of things to consider and I cannot wait to see who the winner of Rock the Board is. And the winner of Rock the Board is Teacher Appreciation Week continues tomorrow with a cooking tutorial with Chef Gardner. And Friday, it's YCS's biggest night. The battle for the gold is on. Join us for the 5th Annual Grizzly Awards, live at 6 p.m. You're so and now what you've been waiting for, winner of Rock the Board, Stacy Schwartz. excited oh this means so much to me i've worked so hard on this but mostly this is just a lot of fun for everybody and this is just something that i wanted to share for all the kids in the building and all the staff that i've been doing this for in the building this is just a way for me to say i love you and just for everyone to see that art is for all thank you <laughs>